Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your guy, Jay Will. I'm back again, and we're talking about that MIDI Innovation uh, free download kit. Yeah, this is pack number two. We drop them every week for you guys. Uh, so let me go ahead, uh, minimize this little window off to the left here. I got Ableton pulled up. I'm going to go through what I got in front of me, and then we're going to let you hear some of it. And then I'm going to end this video and upload it. It's 341 at the time of this recording on Friday, March the 3rd, I think, right? Yeah, March the 3rd. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let's go ahead and get into this so you guys can get access to these files uh, for your evening jam sessions. All right. So uh, right away, what you guys are gonna notice is again these are all you know like MIDI tracks that uh, I personally built for you guys today. Um, so you know we're jumping through. I've got this Helicon instrument from Steinberg here. Uh, it is. <laughs> That was loud as shiza. Sorry, guys. Um, so I forgot I had the speakers up. But uh, yeah, we got the we got the uh, you know TCL kind here uh, working over over on this side on the Steinberg uh, app. So what's gonna happen is all of these MIDI uh, um, uh, melodies and rhythms and bass lines and pads and chord progressions. I'm gonna drop those through this uh, through this little platform VST. All right, uh, I'm gonna have like just a random saw synth sound uh, that you guys just heard. So again, let me let you get another sample of that. All right, so um, I don't know if I'm really gonna use that or not, but I'm just gonna leave it on there for right now. Um, and then uh, we've got our full entire kit session. Um, this is our drum machine that I've got set up here. So I'm gonna go ahead, let you know that I'm playing the drums for real. Um, so that way you guys can give real appreciation for it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is quiet that uh, helicon and you'll just hear the drums now. So if I want to drop a beat, for example, let's. All right, so, you know, we can do something like that. I don't, I'm not gonna get carried away, all right? Um, but we got the drum kit. I pulled that up so you guys can see me playing it. And then in here, I've got the actual loops of the drums. Now, I've got these performed out and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually use these in your project right away today. So what we're gonna also give you real quick, let me minimize this screen before we jump into today's video uh, all the way. Uh, so you're gonna have all the drums right here, the entire performance is gonna be right here for you. Again, that's what it's gonna look like, all right? So you'll get it. You notice that everything's in different volume levels and whatnot, so like I literally played this, all right? So we got that. Then I'm gonna give you the actual samples of each instrument, all right? The kick, the snare, the clap, the hat that I used in here, all right? Now, uh, what I'm gonna do also is uh, give you the individual pattern by itself. So when you get it, you don't have to like strip out just this row or just this row or whatever, right? I'm gonna give you the individual patterns and it'll be titled for you. So it'll say kick one for pattern one, kick two for pattern two, right? So it's gonna like just really be very, very precise, detailed. You won't have to guesswork. You can put it back together and get the exact same performance or you can mix and match to make your own performance even better. All right, so uh, you're gonna get all of that inside this entire mini pack. So that's like the entire, uh, you know, percussions, the rims, hats, the snares, the claps, the bass, the strings, uh, the, the everything, all right? So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Now that you see what you're getting with the pack, let's hear a little bit of what you're getting with the pack. So what I'm gonna start with right away is a drum kit. What I just did is I actually didn't even use the drum kit that I performed it on. I just went and randomly choose a, a drum kit, chose a drum kit. Now, that's got a lot going in it. That's a pretty dope kit. Um, so let's, let's just load that for the purpose of this video. Let's just load that, right? Again. <laughs> All right, so... That's the drum kit right there in real time. So let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like with our loops dropped on top of it. What I'm gonna do is go ahead, I took this 
pattern. I'm going to take that one out, actually. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and take this kick. I know this is a kick because, you know, again, I performed it for you guys, so I know what I'm looking at, uh, but you won't, so that's why we label it. So I got the kick here. Let's go ahead and start this. I'm a little hot, so I'm going to turn this down just to protect my stuff here. I'll turn it back up over here. All right, so we got that going. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Usually this is going to be my second piece is going to be the claps here. So I'm going to grab a couple right here and just drag them all down. Let's pause that. All right, real easy, real simple. We're going to drop it and we'll add in a hollow block, uh, 808 smack, and whatever this is. Again, if you're using Ableton like we do, you can click this little button uh, right here, this little headphone button. And what it will do for you is allow you to sample what you're dropping them on. All right, so let's go ahead and just imagine that this was the kick and the way the kit and the way that I wanted to use it. Let's see what it sounds like. And what's cool about this is, uh, guys, again, I just picked a random kit here, all right? So uh, we could take these and put these wherever we want to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, wasn't paying attention when I dragged that. So let's, uh, let's keep that as a percussion instrument. And I'm going to control Z to undo that, make sure I got it in the right spot. Yep. All right. So let me go ahead and bring that back down. All right. And let's hear what it sounds like now. Don't like that kit? All right, no biggie. Let's drop this kit in there. Different drum kit, different samples. All right, same MIDI pattern. All right, that's what's important to remember. Same MIDI pattern. Here we go, slapped it in here. Right? I'm just moving it to match whatever I, I want it to be at. So, you know, again, just uh, other things that you guys could do in here. So you can have, you know, something like Ableton or any VST that you have open already have like a drum kit that's put together and literally just drag and drop this right in there and then move them around to your liking. Um, you know, if you work with just loops, you can come in here and just organize the loops. So just, uh, again, some of the different um, patterns that we're going to give you. Okay, I'm doing this a little bit different than I did last time, guys. So uh, bear with me. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just change. I'll just, you know, change another one. Uh, I do a lot of pop and urban style music. So I've got those kind of quick pulled up for me. So let's just go ahead and grab that one. And I was working with beat number one right here. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do, though, is switch from beat number one. I'm going to switch to beat number two. All right. So let's open up beat number two. And I'm just going to really quickly, for the simplicity of this video. All right. And let's just see what that sounds like. So essentially, you know, you're getting the whole entire pattern. Now, if you want to hear the actual full beat, you'll be able to just literally drag and drop these in and get the entire beat. But again, you can mix and match all these. They're all going to be at 90 tempo. Um, so everything should work together. Let's go ahead and, you know, just use this random drum kit here that I'd slapped together. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the TC Helicon. Let's drop one of these random melodies on there. I'm going to go ahead and send that over. So here we go.
something cool that we did, uh, something cool that I did uh, this week for you guys is I kept the same patterns and did variations. So you're going to notice that some of them sound very similar, but you got to listen to it because what I did is I gave you variations so that you could build bridges and chords with it, uh, courses with it. So. Now you're feeling that, right? All right, no biggie. Again, you get to pick your sound. So I'm just using one randomly for the purpose of this video. Let's drop a rhythm. Line. Let's drop a pad on top of it. Now it's cool again, guys. Just real quickly, because I know some of these sounds are, you know, may not be what you like, right? Uh, remember, you're getting the MIDI uh, version of this, so you can put this to anything you want. So, for example, right now I'm playing pads. So let's go over here and go find some pads. Synth pad right here. Uh, let's just drop on, you know, maybe not a motion pad. I got anything other than a motion pad on this one. Uh, let me do a standard high frequency one here and let's go ahead and do it that way so I'm gonna go ahead drop it in let it load real quick and then now that it's loaded all right a little bit lower I don't know if that one's gonna be the one I want to use let me try something a little bit different real quick let's do an organ all right a distant organ is what I chose. Let me put it back on the screen so you can see it. I got multiple monitors here. So distant organ is what we chose. So let's let's uh, move this out the way. All right, let's move this over. Again, this drum kit that I'm using is free through Ableton, by the way. So, you know, I'm trying to do it as basic as I can for you guys without using all my stuff. So you can see, um, you know, what you could create just with a free software plugin that comes with a lot of these platforms um, or are downloadable and accessible right so you know again the goal is to not have to spend so much to make good music you really don't have to do that uh, in these days and age so let's go ahead and work with what we got and let's drop a, a pad here let's see what it sounds like Right, a lot of different stuff, man, uh, that you can do with these, uh, with these samples. So, and then we still have the chords that we could bring over too. So there's so much that you could do with what you've got here, guys. Again, uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this. Remember, we're going to tell you what key we're in. So we're in the key of E. So if you're inside of Ableton and a lot of these other platforms, um, you know, I don't have it in front of us right now or I would show you too. But remember, you could come over on Ableton's side. All right. You could choose the scale option. And then all you have to do is know that this is an E major chord. All right, progression that we've got going. So I'm going to go to an E, make sure this is at major, not in, you know, 
uh, DeLorean or anything crazy like that. You know, that's from people who are more skilled and have an understanding of music theory. But for not everybody um, who's blessed enough to have that, this is going to help you out. So now you can come over here and you can literally change this to this key, maybe stack it if you want it and add a little bounce, a little extra rhythm uh to your to your chord and now you got a chord that'll sound like this let's stop everything else and then just play this chord now so there's a lot of different stuff that you can really do to make these chords more of your own you can even grab the whole pattern right here and then shift it a little bit or grab multiple ones and shift them and change their timing which is going to be good because certain keys will drag, other keys won't, right? So if you did that and you did something like this, this is a more realistic to uh, a person's rhythm, right? Finger patterns, they're not all going to move at the same time. Certain keys are going to drag and stand out longer, sustain notes, things of that nature that hold, right? Um, adding extra bravado into certain parts of, of the project. You can do all that with just these files, right? Because we've given you the original data files. So I hope that... This pack is going to give you what you need, and I will catch you guys on the flip. Enjoy it. Check it out. See you later.